Hello everyone, it's your bud. Today I will be talking about the Black Lotus from Magic the Gathering. In the world of Magic the Gathering, or in one of the many worlds of Magic the Gathering, there was an island rich in magic where two wizards founded their College of Magic to find a path to victory against the Phyrexian threat. This place of learning on the island of Teleria came to be known far and wide, and fellow human mages and wizards flocked to the island to learn. Teleria held many magical wonders, but one of these, perhaps beyond all the rest, was the Lotus Vale, where black lotuses sprouted in magic-rich fields that boosted the strength of all who gazed upon it or stood in its presence. So full of magic were the black lotuses that they inspired many mages to unlock the secrets of harmony with magic. But then Tularia fell. One of the founders enacted his greatest spell, and Tularia was sundered by it. Now, an island of mist and secrets that can have a person lose years after only being there for moments. A place of chaotic energy from the leftover results of the Tolarian College's founder's spell. Still, as mentioned, before Tolaria's fall, there were mages working on unlocking the secrets of nature that the Black Lotus held, and eventually they were able to make an imitation. While nowhere near as potent as the real thing, the slender and delicate artificing and enchanting meant to make such an object allows the user to draw upon the great store of magic that can be held within the form of a black lotus. So while it may look like a flower, they only take that form to better fit the function that they are meant to imitate, as a storehouse for magic that can be accessed by the destruction and using of the black lotus. Okay, I'm going to take a break from my script and read you a really good description that I found on Reddit. It was the only piece of story lore that I could find, and it might be total bullshit, but I'm going to trust the Redditor that they just didn't make it up off the top of their head, which is risky, I know, but let's hear what they have to say about the story of the Black Lotus. The Black Lotus is a work of artifice, a masterfully crafted imitation of a beautiful flower inspired by the manor-rich flowered fields of the Lotus Vale. Many artificers have been moved to mimic it with their craft. So came the Black Lotus. Elegant in design, simple in function, it acts as a repository for mana. The sinuous curves of its stem and leaves act as a natural amplifier of magic, and can be broken at any time to regain what magic was placed in it. Many an unwary assassin, thinking their mage victim exhausted, have gone in for the killing blow, only to be annihilated by a blast of fire as shattered petals rain from their target's fingers. I really like that description. It describes it as not only being the form of a black lotus, but how the form and the, let's see, the sinuous curves and stems act as a natural amplifier. So it's as though the form of a black lotus evolved into something that could both store and amplify magic. So I like that it's not only a storage device, but sort of like a storage device with pro amplification and like boosting and I don't know, it's kind of cool. So the Black Lotus is like a soul gem or crystal from Skyrim. You know, the ones that you like, you trap someone's soul in and use it for mana. Or like a one-use Estus flask from Dark Souls. I like how the art imitated nature, like the Fibonacci sequence that has inspired humanity to learn so much in the real world. I could see people trying to replicate nature's beauty, or tether the natural ability to be so magically potent as the natural black lotuses. Like a natural battery for magic, why design your own storage device when nature has already found a perfect design? And not only a battery, but something that amplifies the magic. And using the form as a guide, humans in the Magic the Gathering universe were able to make the man-made black lotuses that while appearing as a flower are actually just pure mana batteries that can release that mana with a special boost. Well, that was interesting. I had no idea about the story of the Black Lotuses. I just thought that it was a flower, and I also didn't know about Tolaria either. Well, I mean, wow. And now I understand where the Tolaria College of Magic YouTube channel got its name from. As well, just now I was thinking, 
the whole using the flower thing reminds me of how they use the flower in uh, The Witcher. I'm gonna use some of those images, you'll see it throughout this, but it really reminds me of that. So it's sort of like using the flower, but instead of using life, I don't know, they made a man-made version of that. It's kind of cool. Anyways, leave this video a like if you want me to make more Magic the Gathering videos. Subscribe for daily uploads. I make a new video every day. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.